I should have killed you 15 ninjas ago, Hayabusa. Let's make up for lost time. <laughs> Industries, and also a huge dick. I guess that made him a dickhead. Hello, my cyborg friend. I hear that you are having difficulties following orders. I told him to go fuck himself. Oh, well, it's such an act where I do attempt it would confuse and sadden me, Aiba, and it would force me to reveal that the power cord keeping you alive has a kill switch I can activate at any time. And murder leaves such a bad taste in my mouth. I cut the conversation short, but turns out he was only a hologram. You make me laugh, Ninja Slayer. <laughs> you see, our goals are the same. You wish to kill Ryu Hayabusa, and he is here, somewhere, trying to contain this remarkable outbreak. I put you back together to kill him. Del Gonzo was still jabbering on when I left. If he was telling the truth, I'd kill Hayabusa, then kill him. If he wasn't, I'd kill him first and then Hayabusa. I didn't have a strong preference. They came out of roaches. It was me against 50 of the living dead. <laughs> I liked my chances. I put the and let myself into the command center. Del Gonzo's listening team had been doing more than listening. Came across something they couldn't handle. Only two men could make cuts that clean, and I was one of them. Monday said the sewers led to a research facility at the edge of town, the Lazarov Institute. It was probably where the genetic game show started in the form of something called Compound 72. Hayabusa had chosen the scenic route to get there. It suited him, but I'd flush him out. I got out of peace, but just barely. Landed at the edge of the Lazarev Institute. Cold War science gone to shit. And to top it off, the place was filthy with clowns. The source of Kai 2. A skyscraper-sized drill in the middle of nowhere. I didn't care what it was, or what they were drilling. Hayabusa was there, and it was going to be his tomb once I hung him from the rafters by his own stupid scarf. I thought you were dead. I was. Now it's your turn. Your arm? That's Forge Industries tech. Do you even know that Delgonzo started this disaster? Eh, well, what can I say? Guilty as charged. When I realized Mr. Hayabusa was going to restore my listening station, I had to move on my plans. I ordered my team to rupture the holding tanks. Chaos is the 
perfect cover for robbery. Shut the fuck up, both of you! I'm gonna carve your skull into a fucking hat. This fight will end no differently than the last Kamikaze. You've done well, but it's all for nothing. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Shit. from your backup capacitors. Do you hear me? God, we have got to do something about that ninja magic shit. I was getting real tired of dying. Or maybe I was getting tired of coming back. I couldn't tell which. The source of Compound 72 was some long-dead space lobster. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, she's gorgeous. 30 years of plans, of setbacks, of wondering why I could not reproduce the compound. An alien, a god. And those fool ninjas would destroy such beauty? Preposterous, profane. Here is the noble stag at the end of your hunt. Finish him. Reclaim your title as Ninja Slayer. I told him to go fuck himself. This was between me and Hayabusa. I had him dead. Master Ryu! Eye of the Dragon! Take it! Ooh, dragon Soul. He wasn't out. So dragon. Guess there's a first time for everything. The explosion made the floor unstable. I escaped the fallout. Momiji well, didn't. As usual, Hayabusa swooped in to play the hero, and I played the villain. At least until Del Gonzo showed up again. Excellent show! Riveting! Four stars! But uh, let's not chew the scenery, eh? Hey, kill him, and quickly. No. When his strength gives out and Momiji falls, he'll know a pain worse than death. Oh, <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> Do what you want with me, but take the Lazarus notebook. Get it into the right hands. It has a cure. I know there is good in you, Yaiba. He was probably right about the notebook, but he was wrong about me. No! Do you have any idea what I could have achieved with that, you idiot? Oh, of course, I prepared for this eventuality. I never truly expected to keep a man such as you on a leash for very long. Three ninjas, one core, and no more loose ends. I'm not your... You saved us. I knew there was good in you. That's not it at all. You stupid, conceited. I figured I'd finally get some rest. I wasn't that lucky. Going to grow, but I also knew how to make an exit. I slowed the fortress down, but didn't stop it. I had to keep moving. The junk battery in my chest wasn't getting the job done. I had to find something that would before I turned into a pile of ash. 
Even I couldn't come back from that. My journey would end. I had seen some crazy shit and some fucked up monsters. But inside the temple, crazy and fucked up had a baby. And not the babies I'd already fought. That's where I finally met Del Gonzo. Looked like he had seen better days. Hello, Yaiba. Please, excuse the mess. And that was had to be ruled by the great Gonzo. Regrets? One. If I had known he'd still be able to send signals to my brain after I ripped off my ears, I would have torn off my whole head instead. Some gods never shut up. Delgonzo squirmed out of the god's head like a maggot hatching from a rotten corpse. I was ready to give him his walking papers. But Monday showed up to tender her own resignation. The good news? She wasn't a computer program or a shriveled up raisin. The bad news? Back on Earth, the fortress was heading for a cliff, and we'd be stuck forever in Delgonzo's Aztec adventure land. But I had a different ending in mind. Traveling between dimensions, your first time's always the best. Monday told me that my brain recorded the cure I saw in the Lazarev notebook. With the plague spreading fast, she said it would be worth a lot. After we waited a couple of months for the price to increase. <laughs> my kind of girl. As for Hayabusa, that's another story.